Hey guys, I'm going to be taking you through a day in the life of a CNA slash nurse extern slash BCT. So first things first, I'm going to bed super early because I have to be at work at 7 a.m. Which means getting up at 6 a.m. So as you can see here, it is 6.10. I get ready super quick in the mornings. I don't try to look cute. Um, I normally have like a bagel or a piece of toast for breakfast and like a hard boiled egg. So, um, bagel going in the, um, toaster oven. There we go. All right. And I try to be out of the door by 630. If I'm going to stop and get coffee, I try to be out a little early. Like this particular morning, I stopped and got some Dunkin'. First things first, I put on my surgical scrubs. We keep these just in the unit because we are a COVID unit. Next, I'm going to take the nurse assignment sheet and fill it out with a nurse and their phone number and then put it on our big whiteboard here. Next, I get stocking together for the unit. So we have a couple different areas we have to stock up like the Pixis and that's what this one is for. So I can have the Pixis area and then also this cart which goes in um, these little drawers outside of the rooms. So we have EKG. O2 bio bags, um, supplies for lab and glucometer readings, and gowns as well. And I stock all of this up outside of each of our rooms. With that comes, I have to go down to the basement a lot to get supplies such as lab tubes, blood cultures, and surgical scrubs. This particular morning, I was going down to get all three. Unfortunately, I did not get any surgical scrubs. Um, no one was in that office to let me in. And I do go back later in the day, but I was successful in getting lab tubes and blood culture bags, which is super nice. Next, I started filling up these patient charts. These are empty with no patient information, but I'm getting the armbands together, yellow for fall risk, purple for DNR, red for allergies, and then the uh, clear ones will just, um, it'll have the general patient information. So in each one of these charts is a cardex, some information about the unit, a TV guide, as well as some information about uh, different vaccines that you can get while you're in the hospital. And each one of the patients get one of these. These are all empty and I'm just trying to get them put together for future admits just because it can get kind of hectic right when we're about to get a new admin and I just want to make it a smoother process for the nurses. We'll see how this goes. This is not something that normally gets done. If it ends up working, um, I'll end up making this a responsibility for all uh, CNAs, techs, nurse externs that come onto the unit that they need to make sure that um, we're pretty stocked up for the day on those. Like I said, I'm going back down to the basement and I did get some surgical scrubs. They did not have a lot of options for us, but um, it was better than just having extra large and extra small in the unit. <laughs> so next I'm gonna do some glucometer testing. You see some of our glucometers. Um, this particular one was super aggravating because as soon as I sat it down on the table, it shut off and I had to wait for it to come back up and try again. <laughs> and uh, we have about 10 glucometers on the unit. The nurses end up QCing a lot of them just because they lock at different times during the day. Um, but I want to start making it a responsibility that it gets done around 3 p.m. or before 3 p.m. every day. For um, the sake of our nurses, they don't need the responsibility of QCing the glucometers. My unit did not have any kind of help as far as texts go for about a year and a half and they just started texts back on um, the last couple months and they've been slowly uh, hiring new people to come in myself including so I've been working hard to make a daily checklist for the CNAs, PCTs, nurse externs, whoever is there so that um, everything is being run the same way every day. I'm very big on organization and task lists and I think there needs to be consistency within the unit in what each tech is doing. Um, and that's definitely something that I incorporated from my last job. We were very, I don't want to say strict about it, but we had a very good routine. And uh, the nurses have already started to notice that's kind of how I am. And uh, they really appreciate it because I get all of my work done pretty early in the day so that I have more time to help them throughout the day. And I think if we were to QC these, 
whether it's first thing in the morning or just by 3 p.m., it would probably save them a lot of time and headache through the day so they don't have to go find another glucometer if theirs needs to be QC'd or if, um, like, it's an emergency. You don't need to be running around trying to find one. Uh, while I'm um, in between doing things like this, I will also answer the phone, uh, whether it's directing someone to the nurse or like lab, family, I answer call lights, and we also are a locked unit that means I have to be near the station in order to answer the doorbell, and uh, we have a camera that can look outside to see who's there, and I'll talk to them and make sure that uh, their family is allowed to have visitors or that they're allowed to come onto the unit themselves. And I normally just clarify this with a nurse. We also have a tube station here right beside me. Um, if there's medicine that comes in, I'll take it to the nurse. Or if we have too many tubes, I have to send it back to the lab or I'm allowed to keep six tubes in here at a time. And it beeps at me. <laughs> um, right before I leave, I try to do a couple things for night shift, like getting their phones together. These are the phones that we use. I get them cleaned off and disinfected for the new nurses. We can call, we can text, and we can take pictures all securely within our own network. I'll um, do a little bit of training up with the wrong unit too before I leave. And I'm out of here and it is 7.05. Make sure to like and subscribe um, and comment down below what else you would like to see from me. Uh, until the next video.